Hey, this is Naga Canario, and uh, today we're going to do uh, squid vomit. Uh, Steven had some extra sauces lying around, and he brought uh, three, three different ones over here, so we'll start with the one I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, been, to the, been to the website, don't know a whole, uh, whole lot about the company, uh, uh, but the sweet potato based had me in, intrigued right away, so I want to give that a shot one. Judging by Ted and uh, Todd's reactions, I I had to try it. I mean, this has got me really. I'm psyched up for this one more than most hot sauces. I know there's soy sauce in there. I know there's buchiloki. There's no ingredients list on here on the little sample bottles, but uh, I know there's sweet potato and soy sauce and buchiloki. So, but uh, this is just the regular hot. If I like this as much as I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, Buy a bottle of the 4X, so see see how it goes. Hard to describe the smell. Kind of Asian influenced, I guess would be. It said he played with hoisin in the original recipe, so or in one of the recipes, so see how this goes. All right, here we go. Oh my God. That is, that's on a whole new level. That's, uh, you know, I know I got some friends in the hot sauce business, but uh, <laughs> I don't dare. I don't know if I say say this, but no, I don't think anything touches this right now. This is. I don't think anything touches it. It's an Asian flavor. The sweet potato is there, but it's balanced by the saltiness of the other ingredients, the Asian ingredients, and it's just amazing. I mean, hmm. I think I need to. A little second opinion on that there. That, that this is amazing. The chunks in there, the pieces. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just incredible. The taste it leaves in your mouth afterwards is amazing. You could literally put that on any protein. On you could have some white rice and have at it with this. I mean, I would love that. This is just, it's on a whole new level. Yeah, this is the best hot sauce I've ever had. I'm going to flat out go there. Best hot sauce I've ever had. There's only two hot sauces I've had where you didn't want to put them on anything. You just wanted to eat them. One was uh, Grounds for Divorce by Dan Lowenstein over at uh, Red Hawk Premium Peppers. And the other one is this guy right here. I'm gonna buy a bottle of the 4X and I'll do a review when I got that. This is incredible. Anybody, I mean, and this one, if, if you start with this one, if you can't really, if you don't want to blow your head off, there's no, it's just a mild burn, just a mild, mild, mild burn. So it's not gonna hurt anybody. I think even people on, that uh, have a lower heat tolerance would like it, but give this a go. Go to squidvomit.com. This stuff is incredible. And I'm going to be buying lots of it. I, man, I'm not affiliated with people. I don't know the people. Uh, I know people that know them, but, uh, you know, I don't know them. So I'm not, you know, blowing smoke up anybody's rear end. You know, I'm telling you exactly how it is. If it wasn't that good, I would not say it was that good. It's amazing. Anyway, that's Squid Vomit. And uh, fresh uh, pod season is on the way. The plants are loaded down. And uh, so that'll be coming soon. Next up, I think I'll be doing uh, one from Pucker Butt from Ed Curry that I've got here. And uh, that'll be in a couple days. But everybody take care and thanks for watching.